Hey guys and welcome. So I am back today to talk about the outcome of my first DIY FMT. So I wanted to say that my FMT, the whole process was new to me. It was beginning. So I didn't technically have all the correct ingredients. I thought I'd be able to use the solution from a purchased enema, um, which is a saline laxative in my fecal transplant enema, but that was not the case. You do not want to use the enema liquid that comes with it because it happens to it pushes everything out when you're trying to hold everything in. So you want to get a 0.9% sodium chloride or normal saline. You could, so yes, like I was saying, you could also use distilled water um, as well as the saline packets from the like nasal rinses, but you want to make sure that it's distilled water. So my first time I ended up using bottled water, which was purified water and just the fecal matter because I didn't have the saline and I was getting scared because it, Finding information out there is really hard on what specifically to purchase. So then I did use the clean, bottled, purified bottled water with the fecal matter transplant. Now the outcome for that is that I tried it and throughout the day I had a large hive on my back. Now my hives typically don't come during the day, they typically come appear at night. Um, so this was a little bit scary for me. and. I was scared throughout the whole process to begin with for the first time because you don't know what could happen, you know? You're really like taking different people's lives into your own hands and your medical matters into your own hands. So making sure that you have a doctor as backup if something does go wrong, that's really important. Someone that you can go to and they you've told them that what you're going to do and they can help you either clean your system out if something goes wrong or help you fix it. So definitely having someone that you can trust to be there for you if something does go wrong. Fortunately for me, nothing went wrong. I didn't have diarrhea. I didn't have stomach cramps. I didn't have any of that. Um, it came back out within 30 minutes. I held it on different sides. So I laid on my left side for about 10 minutes, my right side for about 10 minutes, my stomach for about 10 minutes and I also did handstands against the door to help flush everything a little bit further upwards so like I was saying I did get a big hive on my back which was abnormal for me um, it was actually painful and then when I woke up my hives were worse than the day before now my hives tend to vary regardless of the fecal matter transplant but this I would say I did attribute it to the fecal matter transplant but that being said I'm gonna try it again um, as the lucky number seems to be about 10 FMTs to really get the job done and I've been conversing with someone who has manic bipolar um, disorder and she has cured her bipolar issues with FMTs as well as well as her two sisters and one of her friends and they are all using stool from their significant other or actually her significant other he's like a poop king I guess but so they have so I've seen a lot of success stories but I've also seen failure stories and the failure stories typically the the reward outweigh, outweighs the risk when it comes to it but I will keep you guys updated along the time of my progress and my 10 FMTs to see if it helps solve any of the above, my autoimmune disease, my chronic idiopathic urticaria, or my chronic constipation and bowel disorders in general. So I will keep you guys posted. Please like my video, follow me, subscribe, click the notifications bell. I am trying to solve this not only for me, but for you guys as well. For anyone that has these chronic issues that has been considering doing this, it has taken me a lot of time and a lot of research to figure out the proper way of doing it. So if it is something you're interested in, I share tips and tricks and what not to do and what to do prior to doing it.